So the Fibonacci sequence makes an appearance all over the math world. You see it when you're doing series, of course, and it's in fractals. It's also even in computer algorithms and biological settings like pineapples and pine cones. Crazy stuff. So me and Kat wanted to use this in music, so we created a Fibonacci fugue. Now the function of the Fibonacci series is f of n equals f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2. So if you were to start with 0 and 1, the next number in the series is 1, and then 1 plus 1 is 2, and then 1 plus 2 is 3, and so on. But for the sake of brevity, we only went up to 8. Now, anyway, to put this into musical terms, um, to get a rhythm out of this, what we did is we set each of these numbers equal to one measure in 4-4 four, four time. And we divided that measure into however many notes um, it corresponds to this number. So for one, we would put one whole note, and that again. And for two, we'd put two half notes. For three, three triplets. For five, five quintuplets. And for eight, eight eighth notes. And to figure out what pitches we would use in our melody, we decided to set zero in the series equal to zero. And then we chose to go with A because it has the simplest frequencies to match up with the pitches. So we start with 220. 0 plus 220 is 220 again. And then those equal 440, and so on. And it gives us the notes A3, A3, A4, E5, C sharp 6, and A6. We're going to play that melody for you. Sounds a little something like this. <laughs> sound like music, right? I agree, That's Kat. Not very musical. So there's a few things we can do to turn this into music. So as Sarah just explained very in depth, there are these things called transformations. And um, many composers, such as Bach, will take um, multiple transformations and put them together to get an interesting song. So. Um, we're going to do that, but first we're going to show you what some of these transformations of this melody sounds like. So you just heard the original. Um, a tr one transformation is called a retrograde, and it would sound like this. Next, the inversion of the same melody would sound like... <laughs> that is the lowest note in the piano. <laughs> so it's, um, and a retrograde and an inversion would sound something like this. <laughs> piece called Fibonacci Fugue, which is based off of all these transformations, which is based off of Fibonacci Fugue. 